right, so we're gonna go through dumbbell cyclist squats. Now, with a dumbbell cyclist squat, I want you, uh, we do them with elevated heels, okay? So, um, um, I've got a wedge here, uh, so when I stand on here, uh, my heels are elevated. If you don't have a wedge, uh, maybe just get a block, but you want it kind of, um, if you're gonna use a block, you really wanna have it about probably two inches high, minimum, and when you do the movement, what you think, if I was on a, if I was on an incline block, what I would be thinking of doing is uh, about a 50-50 split weight between toes and heels, all right? Now, um, we wanna take a hip width stance. So it is quite, it's quite a narrow um, stance. And what we're actually targeting, we're really targeting the, the quads over anything. So that's the main muscle group we're targeting. Now the other thing is, the great thing about this exercise is it's going to um, be quite kind on the lower back because we've manipulated the strength curve. We've, we've changed the, um, you know, the, the normal um, movement pattern of this exercise to make it more quad dominant exercise. And the most way you'll feel it, especially at the bottom, is through the vastus medialis, so through here in the quads. Now, one of the things you wanna be thinking about with this exercise is a nice controlled tempo. So what I'm thinking about doing when I'm coming down, I'm visualizing pulling myself down with my hamstrings. I'm not literally doing that, but it's a very good visual cue to help uh, control the movement pattern. So we're coming down nice and controlled, and then we're going as deep as we can, and then we're pausing, and then we're coming straight back up. Now, we don't necessarily have to pause for a, an extended period of time, but a slight pause will take out any sort of momentum. Um, it'll take out any kind of um, extra stress on the knee. So if you're kind of bouncing off the bottom, especially if you're going as deep as you possibly can, uh, we don't want to be doing that. So the other thing is, as you'll find, is um, my depth is quite low. I can go quite low with this exercise, and um, that didn't used to be the case. So um, um, go go as deep as what you feel comfortable, and then you'll find as you go along, this range of motion will actually improve. Now, one of the things you could do if you're really trying to improve your range of motion strategy is to come all the way down and then stop and then help yourself back up and then come all the way back down and then stop and working on just the negative can actually help with that but um, if it's not an issue then um, I wouldn't make that a priority you will find that your depth will improve as you go along so pick up some dumbbells and you want to um, set your core Nice and tight, chest up, dumbbells by your sides. And um, I've got about a 50-50 split weight between front toes and heels. And then we're coming down nice and controlled, nice and controlled, all the way to the bottom, go as deep as you can go. And then up. And that is the dumbbell cycle squat.